next week. Let's get our chief meteorologist Doppler Dave Spielman here and Doppler uh, you were out at the pumpkin patch. It was still pretty warm. Those winds already kicking up though. Yeah, I, and they're going to get fierce uh, and get stronger once we make our way into next week. So that's why we issued that first alert. Just want to give you several days now to prepare. I know you got the Halloween decorations up and this may mean that you have to tidy things up just a little bit as we make our way into next week. So it's going to be Tuesday. Yeah, the winds will crank up. We're going to have some blowing dust and sand as well. It's been uh, very dry out there, so we're going to kick up uh, that dust and sand as well. It's all due to a cold front. This cold front that's going to be moving in here from the west to the east, and that will cool us down, by the way, as well. But notice the winds on our future track wind gush tracker Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock, and then we'll be in the breezy category. Then the winds will only get worse as we make our way throughout the day. You're going to notice those gusts, upper 30s and even the 40s. So the winds will get quite strong. The winds will develop, get strong out in our western counties. So that will stir the dust and sand up and then eventually push it towards the east. So we're going to see some reduced visibilities as we make our way into Tuesday. Then once we head into Tuesday night, late Tuesday night, I mean, the winds are going to continue. They'll gradually work their way down as we make our way into Wednesday. But Wednesday, you know, that's when we're going to usher in some of the colder air and some of the cooler temperatures. So here's how we break it down. Notice the wind speeds. Peak wind gusts right here at 45. We may have to crank them up a little bit as we make our way through the next several days. I think between, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 7 o'clock. That'll be the prime period where we're going to see some of those gusty winds. And unfortunately, folks on the east side of town will get the brunt of the winds. All right, for the weekend, here it is. And we've got a very warm weekend. I mean, we're going to be looking at record setting temperatures, especially uh, by early next week. There's your uh, maize forecast. We got La Union maize and lotus temperatures will be hot. We'll have lots of sunshine, have the water, have the sunscreen with you up in uh, Mesilla Valley. 85 on Saturday. 88 expected on Sunday, so even you folks in the Las Cruces area, it's going to be very hot. Temperature is going to be running well above the averages for this time of year. Here's the wind gush now that we're going to be dealing with. Notice tomorrow and Sunday, the winds aren't going to be bad at all, but they will be picking up southwesterly at 45 once we head into Tuesday. Then the winds gradually work their way down once we head into Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Now temperatures, look at this. We're going to be, here we are, moving into November almost. And here's some record high temperatures. Uh, there's records. We're expecting record highs once we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Look at those temperatures we're forecasting climbing into the lower 90s. All right, so for the overnight hours, temperatures going to drop down to 57 degrees. Some occasional breezes. Look at the highs tomorrow. 88 degrees, not expecting a record high tomorrow. That will be one once we head into Sunday and Monday. 51 will be the overnight low for you guys in Las Cruces. Your high temp at 85 degrees. Watch over the next several days. So here we go. 88, 90, 91 as we bring in the rest of the week. Notice how those temperatures will gradually cool behind the front. We're talking about 76 on Wednesday, 74 both Halloween and on your Friday as well. Of course, we have uh, 